Hello, this is Ilchi Buko. You are watching Tao Thursday with Ilchi Buko on Brain Education TV. Last week, I talked about how to accept pain. Today, I will share with you about forgiving the unforgivable. I am sure if you are living on this planet Earth and you have this physical body, you have fair share of feeling, I cannot forgive this person ever. And uh, when you think about the person or situation, you feel so emotional. It can be anger coming up and uh, harder to really control or think straight. Have you had that kind of experience? Before you can know how to forgive, I want to share with you about why you cannot forgive. Number one, feeling is so strong that you are living in the past, in the present moment. Even if you are have so much opportunity and the chance to meet new opportunity, new people, you cannot see it, you cannot feel it, you cannot sense it. Also, because you feel so much hurt, from before, you become victim of the situations, victim of that person who hurts you. From the victim place of consciousness, you have decided or decided to accept the idea and the viewpoint to see other people certain way. So this we call preconceptions. We call this also filter. So looking through the filters or shade of glasses, you begin to see things. One more thing is that you create ego, certain characteristics or some identity. You have your truest nature of yourself, which is love and courage and trusting and freedom, all of that but you begin to cover that true self, the ego of yours will begin to act, feel, and see a certain way. That means you don't have the opportunity to express your true self anymore. And uh, in that way, you may feel that your life is stuck. So do you think you want to keep this way or you want to overcome it and be able to let go or forgive? Absolutely let go and forgive. Now I want to share with you how to be able to forgive. First, accepting the law of nature. When you see nature, everything is in balance already. So that means what comes in, you go out. What comes in, you keep it, it creates blockage and even pain because it's not natural. If you continue to create the same thoughts, and uh, won't be able to release or let go of those uh, painful memories and you keep holding on to it, then what happens? It creates imbalance in your body and you feel pain. The next step is being in the present moment. Being in the present moment means be able to detach from what you are so much attached to. When you are hurt, you are in a way deeply attached to that experience and the painful memories. I want to say that detachment and conscious observer, that means you are able to feel it without numbing yourself. Next, I want you to know that if you cannot take responsibility for your healing, you cannot heal. I am able to watch observe, know why I feel continuously in pain, what I'm holding on to, and be able to take responsibility of being able to let go of it yourself. I can make the choice to let go or hold on to it. Next, at some point of letting go or accepting process, you are able to shift from this victim or emotional state to your truest nature. You can call it true self or your beautiful soul. You are able to sense that in the deepest place inside of you. So I hope this sharing helped you to see, yes, I can change and there are things that I can do to change and to eventually forgive yourself and other people. 
Thank you for watching Tao Thursday with Yuchibu Ko. Next time, I'll talk about opening your heart to love. See you soon!